welcome back my dear student teachers to the course knowledge and curriculum now we are in the third unit curriculum development in education this is the second module of the third unit determinants where it is with the determinants of general and specific objectives and determinants of curriculum this is dr v girija professor and head of the department of school of education ways institute of science technology and advanced studies chennai the prerequisites of uh, this module is understanding of educational principles and familiarity with the learning theories and the objective of this module is after finishing this module every student teacher will be able to acquire uh, the skills and knowledge needed to design effective educational programs let us look into the determinants of curriculum the curriculum should enable young people to become successful learners and responsible citizens and achieve many more objectives how do we arrive at these aims of our curriculum what should a curriculum include to achieve these aims and how can we ensure that we have achieved these objectives it is determined by some important aspects that determine the curriculum so then what are these aspects let us look into the uh, concept of determinants of curriculum the cambridge dictionary describes the word determinant as a factor which decisively affects the nature or outcome of something according to merriam webster dictionary determinant is an element that that identifies and det determines the nature of something or that fixes or conditions an outcome determinants are those factors which affect the nature or outcome of curriculum these are the forces which also determine the success of a curriculum and these are the factors that decide what should be the goals content learning experiences and the evaluation procedures in the curriculum it is therefore uh, it is significant for curriculum designers to be aware of these factors since they have to consider it in the process of curriculum construction the philosophical determinants psychological determinants scientific determinants sociological determinants and political determinants these aspects together guide in the process of designing the different characteristics of a curriculum curriculum determinants set standards learning goals and outcomes that enable teachers to judge whether or not the students are capable of moving on to the next level the philosophical determinants of curriculum philosophy of the nation state and locality determines the curriculum philosophical nature of the curriculum the philosophies with which people lived in lived and like to live should have an impact in the curriculum specific philosophical thoughts like for example idealism realism pragmatism and existentialism etc and major philosophies like perennialism progressivism existentialism and reconstructionism all those factors has to be looked into while uh, determining the curriculum and another important aspect of determining the curriculum is psychology psychology is very very important in students learning so while the curriculum developers has to give much importance to the psychological determinants when they develop curriculum the psychology deals with how children or adults learn on behave since the main goal of curriculum is to facilitate learning curriculum developers need to know how it takes place in children thus they can incorporate psychological principles when designing the curriculum john locke compared children's mind to a bank slate he expressed it as tabula rasa but today this theory has been denied by experts and we also know that children's mind are not empty vessels they come to school with multiple experiences abundant knowledge and expectations curriculum makers should see if the curriculum has an apt psychological basis by asking the following questions and confirming that the answers are positive is the curriculum designed keeping in view the needs and interest of the learners is it graded and sequenced according to the age and particular stage of the development of learners is it flexible enough to make allowances for individual differences among learners the behaviorists consider learning as habit of uh, habit formation and teaching is regarded as arranging learning experiences in such a way as to promote desirable behavior 
According to them, behaviors can be conditioned by altering the environment. An organism can associate a particular stimulus with a particular response. Learning is the result of an association formed between a stimulus and a response. Edward Thorndike proposed three laws of learning, namely law of effect, law of exercise, and law of readiness. According to these laws, response that is reinforced will become habitual. The connection of stimulus and response can be strengthened by practice, and certain behaviors are more likely to be learned than others because the nervous system of the organism is ready to make the connection leading to a satisfying state of affairs. According to another behaviorist, uh, behaviorist Skinner, when a particular response or behavior is reinforced or re-awarded, the individual is conditioned to respond. The mastery of the subject matter is given more emphasis in this context, so learning needs to be organized in a step-by-step -step process and the use of drills and repetition are common. Cognitivism The cognitivists emphasize that learning is primarily cognitive in nature and growth and development refers to changes in the structure and function of human characteristics. They focus on how individuals process information and manage their thinking. The basic questions that cognitive psychologists ask are how do the learners process and store information, how do they retrieve data and generate conclusions, and how much information can they observe. Thus, cognitive psychologists promote the development of problem solving and thinking skills and popularize the use of reflective thinking, creative thinking, intuitive thinking and discovery learning among others. Humanism Humanism is taken from the theories of Gestalt, Abraham Gast Maslow, and Carl Rogers. This group of psychologists were concerned with the development of human potential. According to this theory, curriculum should focus on the process rather than on the product. It should focus on personal needs and not on the subject matter, thus clarifying psychological meanings on environmental situations. In short, curriculum views founded on humanism post that learners are human beings who are affected by their biology, culture and environment. They are neither missions nor animals. A more advanced, more comprehensive curriculum that promotes human potential must be crafted along this line. Teachers not only educate the minds but the hearts as well. Let us look into the constructivism psychological determinant. This is the learning theory which proposes that learning involves construction of new understanding by combining prior learning with new information. Knowledge cannot be either given or transmitted, but it can be constructed only by the learner and facilitation is the role of education. Scientific and technological determinants. We know that science is the discovery of nature and technology is the application of scientific results to daily living. Science and technology bring a lot of changes from time to time through their discoveries and invention. They literally demonstrate the fact that no knowledge is final. This necessitates the curriculum makers to take care of these issues. There was a time when a school curriculum emphasized that there are six continents in the world. With the scientific discoveries, this perception has changed. Technology-driven curriculum development is the norm of the present country, century. The discoveries of science and technology create a demand for new skills and new competencies and a curriculum has to take care of these demands. Today, curriculum at every stage has to address the demands of the information and communication technology. No one can escape these skills and the responsibility of developing these skills has to be taken up by the curriculum makers. The use of the internet, the ethical issues related to it, and the validity and reliability of this information are to be addressed on priority today. Environmental issues also have to be tackled by the curriculum. World awareness and actions towards rever reversing and ending pollution continues to affect curriculum development. Determinants are those factors which affect the nature or outcome of a curriculum. These are the forces which also determine the success of a curriculum. Curriculum cannot be designed in a vacuum. There are certain aspects that decide the goals and inputs of a curriculum. Thus, those aspects which determine the nature of curriculum are known, and known as the determinants of curriculum. The different determinants of curriculum are the philosophical, sociological, psychological, political 
and scientific and technological uh, factors as we have discussed earlier philosophy provides curriculum specialists with the framework for broad issues and tasks in general and what experiences and activities to stress in school and classroom psychological determinants decide the transactional process of curriculum the needs that arise as a result of science and technology have to be fulfilled by the curriculum curriculum should focus on on the developing healthy environmental practices 